All right, so I just finished doing a platinum trophy challenge on all of the LEGO games on the PS5 store. And I thought since you all love these challenges so much, I would take it up a notch and make a new challenge. Every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus Classic Catalog on PlayStation. This includes all the Tom Clancy games, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Watch Dogs, hell, even the South Park games. And also a bunch of these random ones, which some are, you know, kind of cool. So the new challenge has 51 total games inside, and I'm going to try to finish every single one before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube because that's a funny number. So make sure to drop a like subscribe right now. Anyways, for the first game, I honestly just chose a random one because I wasn't really thinking too hard like I usually do. But in the future, I think I'm going to spin a wheel each time. All right, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint has 51 total trophies inside of it. And it is also the newest Ghost Recon game in the series. But the trophy list is split into three stages, first being the story. And the story opens up with some lore that doesn't really matter because nobody cares. We are here for the trophies, goddammit. And the first trophy I received from the gods above was for getting 12 kills using stealth. Yes. You heard me right. It's Illusion himself used stealth in a video game and actually did something good while doing it. That is definitely a first. I then made it away from the action because this game sadly doesn't have us fight the entire time. Lame. No wonder they didn't make a sequel. But I did end up talking to a cowboy and also a war crime victim who most likely isn't gonna make it. Um, we didn't tell him that. He... <laughs> He thinks he's gonna be fine. And I got a trophy after lying straight to his face. Amazing game already. Next, I was in the thick of it later in the story, which basically just consisted of missions where we went to buildings and had to get something or just get inside. But I broke my stealth almost as fast as I broke up with my last girlfriend. And in the sheer utter panic of the moment, I swapped to this shotgun and I got a kill with it, which actually ended up being the last gun type I had yet to use. And I got a trophy. And literally a few minutes after during that same fight, I ended up killing an enemy right after someone in my co-op squad did also so w man thanks for that my next trophy was then gone from just simply unlocking two of the major skill types in the game and if i'm being honest i don't really know what these all do but i mainly use the assault one because that crime always sounded interesting to me like i've never heard of an assault case being boring if you know what i mean that's what i'm saying i then got to talk to the forbidden side part old man who is the final boss of middle school hairstyles but he also gave me a trophy for finishing act two of the story i then went a considerably long time without getting any trophies because the story trophies are honestly very limited and it's kind of confusing how they all work especially since the game has had like 34 dlc add-ons and expansions really great experience overall and not misleading at all but i did get a trophy again just in the skill tree for purchasing multiple of those skill thingies this time it was for buying four of them and it was titled oh so very funny round of applause ubisoft round of applause we still aren't gonna forget skull and bones though <laughs> never. And these helicopters must have also never forgotten to leave me alone because they constantly just flew in from the Middle East trying to blow me up like it's September all over again. Thankfully, I saved the day by shooting a pilot out of one of them, and I got a trophy for that because it's kind of hard to do. One of the actually fun missions of the story happened right here, though, and it literally just consisted of me sitting stationary on a machine gun, unloading into enemies everywhere. It's the simple things in life, kids. It's the simple things. Shut the fuck There was then a little tiny fight at the end, though, that got a bit annoying, but it ended with this lady just completely getting destroyed, so... <laughs> It's whatever. And I also got a trophy for finishing that mission, by the way. I then had another fun level where you had to carry this dying lady on your back for like 14 kilometers away or something stupid to safety. And almost immediately after it started, I got jumped and decided to really turn on the aim assist, getting a clean three headshots within five seconds. Call me the goat. Call me the goat. Oh my god. All right, well, the fun is over now, and I got a trophy later for just sprinkling illegal things on my gun. It's all up to code, I swear. I then got a mission where I flew around blowing stuff up for my helicopter. Man, this tropical island is seeming more and more like the Middle East every time I look at it. But also after that ended, I got a trophy. Now it's getting decently late into the game, or at least the story for that matter. And I finally reached a total kill count of 50 on the wolves. These are like the elite enemies of the game and are slightly different than the normal ones. So basically they are special, if you know what I mean. I also killed this other random dude who dropped like my grandma without her walker. And apparently he was important because after I looted his riding corpse, I got another trophy. Honestly, I don't see it but go off i guess in this game there's also these things called clues attributing to the story to be honest i'm not sure what they really do aside from that you got to get them as a part of the story and I have to view them to get more missions and all that stuff but i got a trophy from getting 20 of them so i can't complain i then had some mission where instead of eliminating a high priority terrorist i just burned their disk drive on the good old mac these people had in their work office hashtag viruses stop for no man and i got a trophy of course we are now nearing the end of the story and i had to chase down him or hill 
Jonah Hill. Bruh. But once I dropped him and then finished up the level, I received Ooh. another story trophy. Now it's the final mission in the game, and the suggested power level of it was 150, and I was only at like 70 or 80-ish on a good day. So I had to hop inside this tank because I was literally just gonna die, and somehow the NPCs helping me out managed to blow up this giant-ass final boss drone next to me, which also gave me a trophy even though I did nothing. So I then made my way inside and triggered the final boss fight and part of the main story, which obviously had us fight the Punisher from that Marvel TV show because who else would take over a remote island? Duh. Anyways, as you can probably guess, since my power level was so low, I did not have a fun time at the start of this fight, and I died a lot. So much so that I ended up having to Google how you even do damage to the guy because he had these drones hovering around him that protected him like he was the damn president. And the solution was to, um... It was to just shoot the drones directly. Now that, that does make sense now that I think about it. But once you solely focus on just shooting the drones, this fight actually is super simple and easy, which is how I managed to beat the guy without needing to grind to double my power level. And yeah, there was any emotional cutscene, another cutscene, and another cutscene. But hey, look, the story completion trophy. And I also leveled up my trophy milestone apparently, so that's cool, but I don't remember asking. Also, I did get a trophy for some other thing during all that, which I forgot to put in here. So there you go, you swine. All right, so as I mentioned at the start, it is now stage two of three, which is pretty much just called cleanup part one because cleanup part two is much worse. So this first cleanup stage is mostly random things like talking to this guy about war and our crippling PTSD. I also then just joined some random guy's lobby and did some missions with him to push me over the edge of three total completed for the online trophy. I hate online trophies by the way, and this game sadly has them. I then went about on my own journey for a while, grinding out random missions to level up and also get weapon attachments, blueprints and all that since they are required for numerous trophies. And I ended up doing so many faction missions that I completed 8 in one day. And the completion kill cam was crazy. Just a single glorious grenade throw. God, I would smash so hard. Anyways, I was then trying to get a trophy called a brutal stop, which is done by using the drone gadget and sending it after someone who is driving in this very specific truck convoy that appears around the map randomly. And as you could guess, it was a bit challenging at first to figure it out, but that's okay because even in my failure, I stay winning and reach level 30 right here for a trophy. A few tries later, I then got the kill with the drone and also got the trophy for a brutal stop. Now, since this is the cleanup stage, I did get a tad bit bored, so I did a random trophy right here for just running people over with my car. And by people, I mean a lot of people. But honestly, W trophy. I then got some shop trophy for spending a lot of money in the shop. Also, this game's shop system is so bad, it's insane. They've changed it so much since launch that things get super complicated later on. While playing this game, I also did develop a kink for ditching any helicopter I was in once above objectives, and then turning the game into a Mission Impossible movie, which gave me a trophy after I eliminated an enemy within 5 seconds from a base jump. God, I'm so hard right now. Anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, I farmed loot drops for a while, and this game works progressively, so you can't really get an insane drop right away, but it gradually gets higher and higher as you play. One of these tiers is called Elite, and it's all purple. So after I had purple everything, I got a trophy for it because they said so. I then got a trophy called Attachments Master for getting like 30 of them and using one of them. But it is kind of confusing because since the game's launch, so much has been added in and you start with lots of attachments. So I don't really know when this could have popped, but I did get it right here. A while later, I also ended up back in the skill tree after years and finally purchased 10 perks total. Some of these in here aren't perks by the way and they are more just bonuses if you will. And as I said earlier I was doing these things called faction missions but there's also harder ones called elite faction missions and these only appear twice a day so it takes three days to do them completely. Loki it's kind of cringe not gonna lie. Anyways, I did five of them right here and got a trophy for doing that. Suck it, Ubisoft. I also then did some map discovery because there was a few trophies based off of that. And the first one I did was for discovering 50 fast travel points. I then got a trophy for gathering lots of plants because being a vegan is so cool. And I finally discovered every single region in the game, which is a bit dumb because the last one is 15 kilometers away from everything. And my final discovery trophy was for finding all of these ritual things everywhere. And yeah, kind of weird. No clue why that's really a thing. But the next trophy I got was just pure fun. Fun. Blow up two enemies at once with an explosion. You know what that means. Yeah, maybe this game isn't so bad after all. Actually, just kidding. It's complete ass because the next trophy was the most RNG BS I've done since LEGO Worlds. You gotta get two headshots within three seconds from 200 meters away or more. But the dumbass snipers in this game instant kill on everything chest up, so I spent an hour doing this thing that was getting headshots when the bullet wasn't directly on his head. I did it eventually though, 
and I I'm I'm gonna go cry. So in my deep sorrow that I have fallen in, I decided to just camouflage myself like a lizard underneath this guy's sweaty balls just to feel something. And I'm pretty sure he also felt something. Something real sharp and pointy, but hey, look, a trophy. I then got angry at the drones of this world because they don't have to pay taxes like I do, yet they still take away from the real workforce. So I unleashed my political campaign to bring back farming to those who invented it, and I blew up a farming drone. I'm not the monster here, you are. I also then did this stealth kill chain trophy, which was pretty fun, and I thankfully found the perfect place to do it where all three enemy types were at the same building. God's plan if I do say so myself. A different enemy type aside from those ones, however, is called a carrier, and this guy carries around drones on his back hence the name. But if you shoot the drone off of his back, you will also get a trophy. I then was grinding for a while, and at this point we are sort of blending into stage 3 of this trophy list, mostly because the trophies left are just super long and take a lot of time to get, but the first I did get was for equipping a legendary weapon. These drop very rarely near the end of the game once you reach higher and higher levels of power. I then finally got rank 10 on a specific skill set, mine being assault of course, but this actually took forever to do because each rank has a load of challenges inside of them, with my final challenge being getting triple kills in three seconds. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And after that, I finally had enough parts to fully upgrade a weapon to tier 3. So I did that, and got the trophy for doing that. I then hopped on to the online part of this game, because there's a few trophies here also. And the first trophy I got here was from winning a game in the Ghost War game mode. And I'm not gonna lie, my team might have carried me. Anyways, the last trophy in this online mode is done by just getting one kill with each class. And I did that right here after sniping a poor child running around in the forest. I then did my last combat trophy, which was done by getting 50 total drone kills in the game. Which, by the way, this has to be done solely by you and on drones that actually shoot back at you. So yeah, it's kind of confusing, but hey, a trophy. And then after hours, or I should just say this entire game's length, I reached power level 150, which is the minimum threshold to enter the raids in this game. These are another mission type, and to be honest, I didn't even play it. I just got matchmaked and then got the trophy for entering one and left. So now I only have one more trophy to get before the platinum, and it's the one for getting 40 different weapon blueprints and then buying 5 guns or something? Weapon blueprints are found scattered around the map in boxes with guns on them, but the game forgets to tell you that you can't just buy weapon blueprints for this trophy, or even buy guns as you would expect to. So basically I was just confused for my entire afternoon yesterday when the trophy wouldn't work, and wouldn't work, and also wouldn't work. But eventually I looked up this video right here, and if you want an in-depth explanation on what the f*** this trophy is, then make sure to watch it. But anyways, I got the trophy finally, and then the platinum right after. So yeah, that was the Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint Platinum Trophy, the first of many in this new challenge on the channel. Also, here's the updated list as of right now since I have done like a few of these games previously. But anyways, I actually really like this game. Although the ending was a bit sour because of that confusion with that trophy, it did surprisingly play good and had a lot of cool things in it that I did indeed enjoy. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.